Today I'm guessing a facial at Hello Perfect. After my facial, I'm going to give you guys a lowdown like my transition from Skin 101 to Hello Perfect. Got a treatment. Actually, I got two treatments done with them in May, and yeah, I'm, this is the third time I'm going back to them for is it facial the treatments? I guess the treatments. So yeah, I will give you guys the lowdown of everything when I am back. But come with me to go get my facial. long story short i had fungal acne so i was just like um i tried skin 101 i'm not sure i was happy with the treatment that i got from them because i don't know if i mentioned in this channel but like first time i went to them i noticed that the lady who had attended to me had given me a lot of actives so basically if i wasn't someone who already had like prior knowledge about skincare or skin routines and what products help with hydration and what products will completely dry you out and damage your skin barrier i probably would have just gone in with like her prescription and every product that she gave me and not use like my scents and then i would you know ruin my whole skin but that's been by the way um 
so i was just like i was very iffy about like trying another skin clinic but i was just like okay i've been following hello perfect for a while i've seen their page and see all the results that they had gotten in the past so i was just like okay maybe i should try these guys let's see like what's the worst that can happen let's just see i reached out booked an appointment um ended up going for a consultation that day and getting a treatment that day so what i gotten was a microneedling session i got a vampire vampire facial basically the one where they had to um, take your blood separate your plasma from your blood and then inject it back into your skin and immediately i noticed the difference in my skin the tightness in my skin and like how like firm it felt after two days i started noticing like mild peeling and like, my skin looked really good and then like after 10 days 10 days after that micro session i had gone back for a brightening peel so i think i did the cosmilan peel um and i peeled from all of that and then obviously after each treatment i had a routine a set routine that they had given me um skincare routine for every morning and every night which i was to follow i also got some like products from them which i've been doing like so my routine ever since i went to them for that treatment since back in may we're in july now has been like literally like the same thing like just say everything they asked me to do that's what i've been doing since may i went back today for a hydra hydro facial because i'm traveling soon so i just thought it just makes sense to go back for extractions and like just to so that my skin can you know look great but yeah i'm very happy like obviously she did extraction so i probably have like some swollen areas and um, some s dark spots from like my previous breakout but overall i feel like my skin is healthy i feel like my skin has its glow its plumpness and it's hydrated so i'm very very happy with it so, and i also got um, laser on my lower face which is what i did the first time i had gone to them for my treatment i got laser on my the lower part of my face and i had a very interesting conversation with the lady who was doing my laser and um, which was very 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 cute i will keep going back to them because i really like how they do things and i love that they're very welcoming their space is clean and my esthetician her name is faith so she's actually the best like i didn't i didn't try anybody else like she was a person who treated me when i initially came and she's actually the best so i would recommend her 10 out of 10 she's very good she's very gentle she's very patient and she will advise you well if you go to hello perfect um ask for faith and if she asks you how you know her or how you you know tell her for me okay We're having bow buns. Bow, I don't know if that, that's how you pronounce it, but bow buns. So bow buns. Um, I'm having the drink, Kalakuta. What is having Red Bull? Because she went out last night, she came back late. She had a lot to drink, so <laughs> she's not trying to drink. It's because <laughs> like, we might also go day drinking, so it might be like a lot for her, so she's not trying to drink here. about to get ready for the day I woke up earlier I woke up at like what I woke up earlier like I know wake up at 8 and it's just then I woke up at 8 and I really like I wanted to like get some work out of the way so like I did do some work already so now that I have a little time I just want to have my shower quickly and then jump right back into work and then after that um later in the day I'm going to get my lashes done I need to refill my hands so there's nothing inside so I'm gonna quickly do that. This hand soap is from Back and Body Work, by the way. And I got like a refill, which I've like, I got like what, two, three refills and I've literally finished all of them. So it's just one left. So I want to refill that one. You guys, come to find out that I actually don't have any refills left. We're trashing this. 
in with the new um this is this one was rose and amber which i really loved um the smell of the scent of and then this is white tea and sage so i'm just going to be replacing it since i don't have any refills usually i just refill and keep it but no i'm gonna trash this I'm just looking forward to uh you know um you you climbing that ladder and you know taking your space i insist if you have to take your space <laughs> <laughs> thank you so you. much thank too tired to even speak i'll speak to you guys tomorrow but this is how i ended my night after i got my lashes done i went to get roto got the clay pot jello fries but yeah you guys so i got my items from sheen the crazy thing is that i've always wanted to like get some things from sheen because i always hear about sheen sheen a lot but i've actually never shopped at sheen my sister was telling me about someone who could like help us with it like basically we just like um put everything create an account with sheen put everything that we want in our basket and then share our basket with her and then like we'll pay her in naira and she'll place the order for us so basically this probably took like two weeks to come in um, um quality of sheen is not always trusted so i was trying to like, actually minimize the amount of things that i got so i'm not disappointed at the end of the day because this is my first time anyway so i have to like kind of test the waters first but my sheen orders are here that was actually a really good um process i guess and very convenient so if i would like the quality of everything i'll most likely be using her again and i'll obviously like tag her her business name tag it on i'll put it on the screen somewhere you guys this is how my hair turned out like i am so so in love with how neatly this braid came out they are braided so neatly they're so cute if you're ever looking for what hair to do, what braids to do for summer, or what braids to do, and you're confused, this is what I always go for. Not less braids with French curls. That's my go-to. So this is so cute, guys. And I feel like usually my not less braids aren't this tiny, but this time they're so tiny, and I feel like this look really suits me. Because now my eyebrows, my eyebrows are done, my lashes are done, my hair is done. Last thing I need to do are my nails and yeah. Here's my number. To pack for them, but
I did a maintenance last week, maintenance or travel prep last week. So I'm traveling this coming week and I was actually smart enough to like do a lot of the things like travel prep that I had to do like a week before this time instead of like doing it like three days so I travel and feeling so rushed and stressed at the same time. The brow holes, I got my lashes done there. I think this is probably like the second time this year that I'm getting my lashes done there. Their customer service is really good. I know that they take their time with like every single person's lash that they do. And one thing that's really important to me when I'm getting my lashes done is like, I just, I just don't want to feel like I have lashes on. Like I know that's weird to say, but when I say I don't want to feel it, like you know when you think your lashes done and it's like so uncomfortable, like you feel the poking, everything like is really really uncomfortable. So I think for me, like that's the biggest thing. Like I don't want to feel the poking. First time that I got my lashes done with them, that's how you know it felt like like nothing was there. It felt really good. It felt really natural and i only started using them because the place that the place that i used to go to the salon that i used to go to get my lashes done i noticed that the babe or the girl that i used to use no longer works there and for, and i don't even have her number so i was just like okay it's time for me to start searching for somewhere else so yeah went back to the brow hold and they've improved so much i did get d curls at the end and then c curls um you know when it starts off and I find that that suits me way better than just getting like C all through or D's all through. I also got to have like a little chat with the owner of Brow Hot, mainly about content creation. She's a very nice person and you can kind of tell why her staff members take, you know, what they're doing really, really personal and they make sure they, they give their customers exactly what they want because you can kind of tell that she's a perfectionist and they tried to get it right like they actually tried to get it right and because of her because while she was there she was trying to get content as well but she was also like monitoring everything that they were doing trying to make sure that they're you know crossing their t's and they're dotting their eyes and nobody's going home unhappy so yeah like 10 out of 10 you guys really going to do your um lashes and you haven't quite settled on a place you're still trying out places or you're just you've been wanting to get lash extensions but you're not sure i would definitely recommend the brow hot the, the space is clean the prices are reasonable and they have a 10 10 service so i would definitely recommend them if you want to get your lashes done <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.